who will be the next Wizard King in Black Clover. Now, I always thought it would be Fuegoleon, um, just because he's a noble, he's very powerful, very intelligent, but I was thinking about it, and I kind of changed my mind. I found a new person that fits that spot much better than Fuegoleon. Now, I'm the one, so make sure to subscribe, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and let's get right into this Black Clover vid. <laughs> Before we continue any further down in this video, I'm going to let you guys know right now there is manga spoilers in my videos because I do read the manga, so I do love to talk about the manga. So, two main spoilers. Two spoilers right now. First of all, the previous Wizard King, Julius Nova Chrono, has died. Julius Nova Chrono is the 28th Wizard King of Clover Kingdom, so who is going to be the 29th Wizard King? Now, the reason I always thought it was Fuegoleon is because Fuegoleon has awoken, and not only that, he has Salamander now, so he's very OP, very strong. I would say almost Wizard King level. Um, I still think Julius is much stronger than Fuegoleon, but I think there is someone with, that has a better chance of getting that position, the position of Wizard King. And now, why would I say this? Black Clover has been fast-paced from the get-go, okay? We started, it's been picking up, picking up, picking up, and it just kept on going, okay? It hasn't stopped. We could see this with, you know, Asta's black form, uh, Black Asta. He attains the form, and he's able to master it quickly. He doesn't have to train or anything, but that's pretty unique, okay? It's unique for a story for, like, someone to get a power and just be able to use it like that, okay? That's pretty interesting. So, we understand that Black Clover is going pretty fast. Now, the major reason I don't think Fuegolian is going to be captain is because of Yuno and Asta. Now, what do I mean? You know what, Asta, at the end of this arc, or the end of this saga, whatever you want to call it, the elf saga, the, the, the arc that we're in right now, we have to, they have to either get promoted or do something different, because they have done a lot. They have contributed a lot. And I know Yuki's going to reward them, because he's not going to make us read all these chapters with no rewards. Yes, he might give us a power-up, but we need a, a, a reward of, of uh, status, because that's our goal. Our goal is to get become the Wizard King. Asta's goal is to become the Wizard King. So we need to get closer to that goal. So we need to work our way up through the ranks. So either they become vice captain or they become captains. Now, my two main picks for the Wizard King are Fuegoleon. And my pick that I thought of yesterday is Yami. Now, I know a lot of people suspect Yami, but they don't suspect it from the reasons that I do. The reason I think it's Yami is because of Asta and Yuno. Now, what do I mean? First of all, take a look at Golden Dawn, the, the squad that Yuno's a part of. Where is their captain right now? First of all, he got he's pretty much... Not possessed by an elf. Okay, possessed by an elf. We're gonna say that. There's an elf reincarnated into him, but totally. Now, he's he's probably most likely not not gonna come back to Clover Kingdom. I don't think Yami will be able to stand him, and I don't think he could forgive himself either way because he chose Patoli over Julius, and those were like his best friends. Julius and Patoli were both of his best friends. Patri, Patoli, whatever you want to call him. So if I'm calling him Patoli and, and his name is Patri, my bad. But the wiki says Patoli. I'm calling him Patoli. I'll just call him for you guys. Okay, but yeah, even if Yami does end up forgiving uh, uh, William, I don't think William is going to end up forgiving himself. So I don't think William is going to be coming back to the Clover Kingdom. Um, if he does, he's not going to be the captain of Golden Dawn. He's not going to have that same position that he wants hit. I don't even think he's going to be a magic knight. Okay, because he affected the war major. It's all. This is all pretty much thanks to him. This Everything that's happening right now, uh, Julia is dying, this war... All these people getting possessed by elves is all William's fault, okay? It's, well, it's not his fault in general. It was obviously Patry, but William allowed Patry to do this. Okay, so William's out of the picture. Who's the next captain for Golden Dawn? Langris? Do you guys think it's going to be Langris, the next captain of Golden Dawn? It could be Langris or Yuno, okay? Because Yuno is probably the second strongest member of Golden Dawn, or actually the first. I think he's above Langris at this point. I think Yuno has surpassed Langris, and now that he has his elf boost... Which I don't know if he'll lose this, okay? A lot of people are going to lose their elf boost after this. But I don't know if Yuno will be losing his elf boost. Because there's a theory out there. And I and if this theory comes to play, then Yuno should be able to keep his uh, elven powers. But if he doesn't, he will still retain the experience of having these elven powers, okay? So, if Yuno does step up to the plate and become captain, where does that leave Asta? Asta is either going to be still a normal member... Because we haven't even seen the vice captain of the Black Bulls yet, we have not met him yet, and we've seen a silhouette of them, but we don't know. If, we don't. We don't know if that's the vice captain. It's never been mentioned, but we could assume it's the vice captain. So this is what I'm thinking. Yuki has always shown you know above Asta, ever since the start. He's always put you know above Asta. The whole from the beginning, from until even the Royal Knights exam. Let's take a look at the Royal Knights exam. That's a very prime example. Asta gets eliminated in his round. You know goes to the finals and ends up winning. Asta didn't win. Asta lost to Langris. Well, he tied with Langris. Let's take a look at magic. Yuki gave uh, Yuno 
a four leaf grimoire and all this powerful magic he gave us nothing and a five he did give him a five leaf uh, grimoire so I'll allow him on that but we've always seen these signs that you know is above asta so if you know becomes captain who is going to become the ca uh that means an asta needs an upgrade but i can't see asta getting an upgrade if we haven't even seen the vice captain so what could happen is we get revealed who the vice captain is and yami becomes the wizard king and then he, the vice captain moves up to captain of black bulls and i feel like the vice captain of Bla black bulls is going to be really powerful like almost captain level power powerful because take it in he has not been here and we are already in second place what what when what's going to happen when he comes okay so asta becomes a vice captain and puts him under you know and then yami goes and becomes the wizard king or or the other scenario is asta becomes the captain and that person stays as vice captain and you know and us are uh, captains of the respective squads i just don't think that's going to happen i think it's too soon for us and we've always seen you know as a prodigy right we've always seen you know as this prodigy character so i wouldn't be surprised if you know breaks reels record real is the youngest captain he's a captain at the age of 19 you know just 15 or 16 years old so when you know breaks this record he's obviously already a prodigy and this will just show his uh how, how much of a prodigy he actually is and then Yami will go and become the Wizard King. And it makes sense. And and for Golian, I don't know what position for, for Golian is going to have. But he could step it back into uh, the Crimson Lion. Or he could have Miraliona take his place. I don't know what's going to happen with the Crimson Lion. That's going to be another story for another time. But yeah, if you enjoyed this Black Clover video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next Black Clover video. Peace out, guys.